Coming. Okay, welcome to the caboose, our tiny house, and your future tiny house. Here we have our custom made door with our you know custom cast iron thing, our stained glass, our elvish engraving here, speak the brand in enter. Woo! There it swings open and you see they have these lovely coat hangers which are uh, handmade in India. And come on in to the house. We've got plenty of windows as you can see. Got cedar shelving here. More coat hooks made from Indian uh, door handles. Um, what, Northern India. The whole interior of the house is painted with non VOC clay based paint, so you're not breathing in toxic fumes. And all the lumber, we got the oak floors here. We got the uh, pine and oak bench here with the opening uh, hidden cabinet there. You know, we put that in for floor space and use this as a uh, seating area for both for dining for two, you know, sitting, you know, on your bum style. Then uh, we've got the stove there. We've got the copper backsplash to keep the heat from getting into the walls. And then you come into the kitchen where we've got nice oak slab countertop harvested from the land that this tiny house was put together on. We've got our pine cabinets with our cedar shelving inside. And then we turn over here to the sink, which is again a custom copper sink with copper backsplash. We've got the under the sink here, nice cabinet. And then we're coming on down the line again. Custom cabinetry here, dug for a hundred years old. The door is made out of an old a, uh, box that I found in an antique store. Then we've got the shelving in there. Yeah, keep coming on down. Oh, don't forget the Mexican tiling uh, that was uh, made in southern Mexico and then we had custom made for the house. Then we have the clothing area here. Ta-da! Some hooks there. We've got more shelving on the interior of these cabinets is cedar again, keeping your clothes nice and fresh. And then we've got just another small little cabinet over here. Same thing. Use this as a hamper. And then we got more stained glass here in the back. Back exit. Um yeah, we can go upstairs, see the loft. You can, can look up there. You can see that there is wiring in the house. If uh, one wanted to electrify the house, there are spaces for outlets and for lights. Uh, I lived in this in a, a, one would say, a primitive way. No electricity and only a foot pump for running water. Uh, which is great for me, but not, you know, obviously not for everybody. Um, and we go up into the loft. And you can see a nice round window. We have a custom oak carved dragon shelf there. Little corner shelves, nice windows for ventilation. Um, about, uh, Three and a half feet of head height, Maybe almost four in the center with the rounded roof, and that's the uh, tiny house. That will be yours.